Um, well, I want to talk a little bit about Logan Wines. Uh, Kate and Chris have been uh, fans of these wines for a little while now, and uh, they've been good enough to, to pop some, some wines into the shop. Um, I love France. I live in France. I love the sort of classic areas. And uh, I also work in Australia with Peter Logan from Logan Wines. The reason why I like his wines is because they're subtle, they're cool, and they're elegant. Um, they're, there's a lot of Aussie wines which have big, bold flavors, very direct, lovely wines, but sometimes I find them a bit too heady and a bit too heavy. Um, Peter Logan's wines, they're cool. Um, he's in Orange and Mudgy in New South Wales. Orange is uh, quite a new wine-growing area within Australia. There's a volcano that rises to 1,100 meters above sea level called Mount Canobolus. And his vineyards are at about 950 um, meters above sea level. Cool snow in the winter and uh, very subtle, uh, long-growing season, so you get finesse into the wines. He's also making a fantastic Sauvignon Blanc. These are the last few bottles in the UK, actually over here um, and uh, Kate tried this uh, a, a few weeks ago and she leapt straight in to, to stop the wine. His uh, wines as I say they're, they're cool, they're subtle, we, we focus on interesting grape varieties as well. Peter Logan always wants to support independent wine merchants in the UK so he makes smaller quantities of interesting wines. The Gewürztraminer that uh, Kate reviewed recently in, in her dance epic and uh, the Merlot, it's a subtle style of Merlot. And Shiraz Viognier. Shiraz Viognier is quite a cool style that, that's come in recently. Here it is in the glass. It's um, quite a savory style of Shiraz. It's got a little bit of lifted fruit. Viognier links really well with Shiraz. Um, it, it actually ferments together with the Shiraz and, and lifts the style. People use Viognier in the Shiraz blend to give it the, the character of oak aging but without the headiness again. It's pure, it's got a beautiful nose, um, lifted character as well. Um, slightly plummy, dark fruit, but it's got a little bit of spice to it as well. Oh, that's so smooth. 2006, bit of age on it. Sometimes when you look at supermarket Aussie reds, they're just power packed and heady. This is elegant. It lasts a, a, a style of Peter Logan's wines. Again, this elegance, they last such a long time that the finish, mm, it's about 20 second finish there. Really nice styles. This one, savory, beautiful wine. Hamish, hey, hey, there's no dancing going on. <laughs>